Welcome to the JCM Global iVision Cleaning Procedures video. In this video, we will learn what sensors should be cleaned, where they're located, and how to properly clean them. The little green tabs on the front of the iVision are the acceptor head access levers. You use these levers to open up the acceptor head to clean it out. This portion is the validator head. This is where all the validating sensors are located and all validation takes place. This portion of the validator is called the transport. The transport is responsible for moving the bill or ticket through the validator path. The green lever at the back of the eye vision is the transport access lever. You use this lever to open up the transport and clear out any jams that may have occurred in the transport section. The cash box is where we store all the money and all the tickets that are inserted into the validator. The iVision frame is what holds everything together. It connects the validator to the cash box. Now that we've covered the basic components of the iVision, we'll cover the sensor locations and what they do. The first thing we'll discuss are the entrance sensors. These sensors start the entire validation process. Next we have the ultraviolet or UV sensor. These are used to scan for the mylar stripe that's in the currency. There's one on top and one on the bottom. At the back of the validator head, there are two sensors. These are the exit sensors. They ensure that the money or ticket leaves the validator head. In the middle of the validator, there are two white bars with a black bar running through the middle. These are the contact image sensors, or CIS. They perform the bulk of the validation, scanning the bill at a rate of 100 dots per inch. On the top portion of the validator, you will find a clear bar. It sits directly over the lower CIS. This is the transmissive bar sensor. It works in conjunction with the CIS to help validate bills and tickets. Once we open the transport section, we can see the feed-in sensor and the comb groove. Together, these two items can detect strings that are on bills. The comb groove can fill with dust and debris. Once it does this, it will show up as a jam error. At the very back of the transport, you can find the exit sensor. This sensor informs the game that the bill has left the transport and is now waiting in the escrow position to be stacked. Now we'll move on to the cash box. On the left hand side are the cash box sensors. These sensors denote whether a cash box is present and can determine if the cash box is a 500 note or a 1000 note cash box. On the right hand side of the cash box is the nearly full sensor. These sensors let the validator know that the cash box is almost full. At the back of the cash box is the home position sensor. This lets the validator know whether the pusher plate is in the home position or not. JCM has a recommended preventative maintenance cycle for the eye vision. Once a month, we recommend that the eye vision be opened up and clean all the sensors and lenses. It should take about two minutes. Every six months, we recommend that you inspect the validator for damage, perform your monthly cleaning, and also clean all your belts and rollers. This should only take you about 10 minutes to finish. When cleaning an eye vision, we recommend that you use a dry, lint-free microfiber rag. If you need to use any liquid, use water and a very small amount of mild soap if needed. And always follow the iVision Preventative Maintenance Guide. When cleaning an iVision, it is very important to remember that you cannot use alcohol or solvents on an iVision. Alcohol will cause yellowing of the lenses and premature aging of the belts and rollers. Solvents will slowly eat away at the plastic and cause degradation in performance leading to you having to replace the iVision. Next, we'll demonstrate how to properly clean an iVision validator and cash box. This video will demonstrate how to clean an iVision. First, we'll remove the validator from the cash box and frame, and then we'll remove the cash box from the frame itself. Next, we'll remove the validator head from the transport and set each aside. The first thing we're going to do is clean the validator head. So go ahead, open up the validator head, and using a dry, lint-free microfiber rag, wipe out the inside of the validator head. After that's done, we'll move on to the transport. So we'll go ahead, open up the transport, and using a Q-tip, we will clean out the feed-in sensor and the comb groove. Next, we'll go ahead and clean out the exit sensor.
and after that we'll clean out the top portion of the comb groove. The last part we have to clean is the cash box. So using a Q-tip, we'll clean out the cash box sensor and the nearly full sensor. Then we'll move back and we'll clean out the home position sensor lenses. Once that's done, we'll use the microfiber rag and wipe off the type of the cash box. Now that we've cleaned the iVision and the cash box, we can put everything back together and the iVision is ready for service. Just as a reminder, do not use any alcohol or solvents on an eye vision. During this presentation, we learned what sensors need to be cleaned, where they are located, and how to properly clean them. If you have any further questions about this or any other topic, please feel free to contact JCM Global toll-free at 1-800-683-7248 or by email at training at jcmglobal.com.